So we're going to do two minutes on anticipatory grief. I uh, had a viewer ask me to speak on this type of grief a little bit. This is grief that is felt prior to the death of someone. So it's a death that you know is going to be happening and the family and loved ones along with the person that is dying feel this type of grief. Typically it is because you are anticipating what you are losing. Um, for the person that's dying, they anticipate that they will never get to do certain things, never get to get married, never get to have children, never get to be at their children's wedding, never get to see their future. For the loved one, you may be losing your partner, your child, um, your source of an income, um, change in roles within the household, change in traditions and holidays. So you anticipate the loss that is going to be coming. Anticipatory grief is not a replacement for the grief that you will feel after the death of a loved one. It is a separate grief all its own that you go through as this buildup is happening. You often go through a battle too of grieving and having hope because if you go into grief, you often worry that you're giving up hope on the person living and a miracle happening or some change happens. So there is a battle within that middle ground of which way your emotions should swing and you fear that if they go one way, you are disappointing the other side. So if you have hope, then you should be grieving. If you're grieving, maybe you should have hope. So it's this constant battle that goes on as well. Symptoms of this type of grief or signs of this type of grief are anxiety and fear and loneliness and wanting to talk to somebody but not wanting to talk to anybody all at the same time. There's also sadness and some people do seek counseling for this type of grief. Caregivers in a loss situation, that loved one and the significant others and the parents and the children need support as well and they often need to seek counseling ahead of a death because they are going through a lot of emotions they don't quite know how to process. So two minutes on anticipatory grief.